Hi everyone, this is Dave. Now this is one of my most viewer requested videos. I record one of these each and every year. This is my editing room tour for early 2017. Now, if you're going to spend a lot of time sitting at your desk, then it's very wise to invest in a decent chair. This is the Herman Miller Mirror 2 chair, and it is super comfortable and gives me some really good back support. My main desk is made up of some white IKEA Alex cupboards underneath, and on top of this is a solid bamboo worktop. So this is the main viewpoint that I'm greeted with every single day, and it consists of my main workstation, and also a MacBook Pro off to the left here. Now I'm gonna go through each individual component. I'll try and leave links to as many as I can in the video description. But if at the end of this video, you've got any questions at all, then please do leave them in the comments section below. The display that you can see here on my desk is the LG 38 UC99. This is a 38 inch ultra wide monitor with a resolution of 3840 by 1600. I really like these ultra wide monitors. It's a great resolution. It allows me to have two applications running side by side. And when I'm in video editing work mode, then I can see pretty much all of my timeline without having to do too much scrolling. Now this also supports USB-C. So at the side here, you can see my Retina MacBook Pro with touch bar. And this can connect via USB-C to the back of the monitor. It not only gives me signal to the monitor, also charges the MacBook Pro. For my main video editing, I monitor my audio with a pair of Tannoy Reveal 502 monitors. Now these are called studio monitors rather than speakers because they provide me with a very neutral sound and it allows me to really check that I've got great quality audio to accompany my videos. For my voiceovers, I use the Rode NT-USB microphone. And this is mounted on a Rode PSA1 microphone arm. And this connects to my desk. It allows me to swing the microphone round into position very easily indeed. Now back to the Tannoy Reveal 502 monitors. These are actually connected to a USB audio interface. You can see this sitting just at the back of my desk here. This is the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2. Not only does this give me crystal clear sound fed to the monitors, it also allows me to input XLR microphones when I need to do so. So let's have a look at the back of my desk here. There's my Sony RX100 Mark V, really great compact 4K video capable camera that I use for really light on the go recordings. Then I've got a pile of moleskin books which I use for my video planning. And just off to the left hand side of the monitor here, I've got a Lexar USB SD card reader. And then I've got a little dock. This is the OWC USB-C dock. This is fantastic. I connect this to my MacBook Pro. It allows me to have that memory card reader back very, very easily, as well as Ethernet and USB, and also headphone input as well. Just at the back of the desk there, hidden away in the corner, is a little cable tidy. These are all the cables I pull out from time to time, and this stops them from falling down the back of the desk. Now back round to this gorgeous LG display, and let's take a look down on the desk to see what I'm using connected to my late 2013 Mac Pro. Well, on the desk here, we've got the Kinex Multisync Bluetooth keyboard. This is a really fantastic typing experience, nice and low profile, chiclet keys, numeric keypad here as well, and it connects to up to four different Bluetooth devices using these keys on the top right of the keyboard. And then just off to the right here, we've got the Apple Magic Trackpad. Now, for those of you wondering what this burgundy foam is on my walls, this is AIX foam. It's acoustic foam, and it allows me to stop the audio bouncing off of all of the different surfaces in the editing room. This is really essential if you want good quality audio in your videos. So how do I use this setup here? Well, I mentioned the OWC USB-C dock. This gives me Ethernet, USB, and an SD card reader into my MacBook Pro. I run a second cable across, which connects to the back of the LG display. And then I can either have a dual display set up with the screen open on the MacBook Pro, or indeed I can shut this screen down and simply have my main display switched on. Now my MacBook Pro is currently on top of a Griffin elevator stand, 
and then the keyboard combination here with the trackpad are both Apple products. This is the Magic Keyboard and also the Magic Trackpad. So just hidden away down here, I have got a Lacie two big hard drive. And on top of that, I've got a little portable hard drive as well. You can see some accessories inside the cube here, including my Steve Jobs figurine and my mini MacBook Air. And then on top of this cube, I've got some extra hard drives. And these are what I use for my main editing. I've got a Lacie two big Thunderbolt hard drive. In the center there, I've got the uh, Lexar workflow. That's another memory card reader. And that's got some extra uh, docks here as well. So I can add extra card readers should I wish. And then in the corner there, I've got the Western Digital MyBook Pro. For keeping colors accurate on my monitor, I use the X-Rite i1 display. Uh, this also measures ambient light as well, so it keeps my display very, very accurate indeed. And then just off to the left of this is a little tiny battery pack from Just Mobile. It's on a docking station, so it's continually charging, and I can just grab that when I'm ready to go. So I've got some external power when I'm out and about. Now, before I move on to the second desk, I want to give an honorable mention to the product that used to be here. It's now been moved to another location, and that is the QNAP TVS882T. This is a network attached storage device that allows you to connect this to your network and have a centralized location for all of your files, but it also connects direct to your computer via Thunderbolt 2, and this is fast enough to actually edit 4K video onto either the internal three and a half inch SATA drives or indeed to the two and a half inch solid state drives. So let's move around to the second desk. I love this area purely because it is nice and clean and crisp. I love the white color. Just off to the left of this desk, we have got my brother HL3150 CDW laser printer. I absolutely love this laser printer. It is a workhorse, very reliable, and prints in full color, really high resolution. And then back round to the desk, this is an IKEA Galant desk. And on top of this, we have got a really big display. This is the Samsung U32E850R. This is a 32 inch 4K monitor, really nice display. The speakers that you see either side are Wavemaster 2 BT speakers. These will connect either hardwired into your computer or indeed allow you to connect devices to them via Bluetooth. Now, just underneath the monitor here, we have got a Just Mobile drawer. Uh, this is where I keep all of my memory cards and dongles for the MacBook Pro. We've got an Apple Magic Mouse just hidden away here as well. Mac Mini under there in the corner. And on top of the desk, we've got some really fantastic peripherals. This is the Microsoft Surface Keyboard and also the Microsoft Surface Mouse. I use these both on the Alienware PC, but I've also used them on the Mac Pro as well because they are just that good. And on the tripod here, you can see my current live streaming setup uh, I've just started doing more live broadcasts on YouTube, and this consists of a Rode Video Micro on the top here, and then we've got the iPhone 7 Plus. We've got a little clamp here from Manfrotto that's uh, holding the iPhone in place, and then a Vanguard uh, mini tripod, which is a, a really good solution for a lightweight live streaming broadcasting solution. Above the second desk is a shelf, and on top of said shelf is an Ayama 24 inch monitor. This is used for a little media server that's run by the Mac Mini you, you saw earlier. It also shows my subscriber account from time to time, just when I need a bit extra motivation. And then over in the corner here is one of my favorite Lego creations. This is my Lego camper van, surrounded by a couple of little figurines. And the light that you're seeing in the corner here, this is an LED light. This is the Yellowtech Mica. So that concludes my early 2017 editing room tour. But wait, there is one more thing. Over here on my main editing room desk, I have installed some Philips Hue LED light strips. Perfect for that really great ambience and those late night editing room sessions. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please do hit that like button. Please do subscribe to the channel. I really do appreciate it. And if you've got any questions at all about anything you've seen in this video, then please do leave them in the comments section below. 
Thanks again for watching. I'll see you again soon in another video on the Geek Noise channel.